Hello, I'm Chris Menard. I've got a great OneDrive video for you today. I use OneDrive personally, and I also use OneDrive for work, which is called OneDrive for work or school. That used to be called, in case you're wondering, OneDrive for business, which you may have heard before. What I'm gonna show you today works in both OneDrive personal or your OneDrive for work or school. Four main topics. The first is what do the storage numbers mean when you look at your OneDrive and how does that relate to your local machine? The second topic I'm gonna to discuss, and this is where I'll probably spend most of this video, what do those icons mean? The blue cloud, the green tick mark or the green check mark, Microsoft calls that a tick mark. And the third icon you get is the white check mark with the green circle. What do those icons mean? And how can you save your hard drive, local hard drive space? I'm also going to discuss those same three icons, not just with files. Then I'll go and talk about it with folders, which is slightly different than with your files. And finally, I'm just going to quickly show you how to free up hard drive space if your one drive is taking up a lot of your hard drive space. So let's go ahead. Uh, the chapters will be listed below, but let's go ahead and get started with the easy one. What does all that storage mean when you go to properties and look at it? So I'm already in my OneDrive for Business, but in case you're wondering, how did you get there? Multiple ways, but here's two easy ones. Method one, down in your notification area. The white cloud is OneDrive personal. The blue cloud is OneDrive for work. I'm using the blue cloud. Click it once and there is open folder. Click it and Windows Explorer pops up and it takes you right to your OneDrive account. I could have also just pulled up File Explorer with Windows key on the keyboard and the letter E. That is the keyboard shortcut for File Explorer. So let's talk about that file space. I can right click and go click on Properties at the bottom. I can also go to the Home tab and click on Properties, which I'm going to do in this case. So my OneDrive Chris Menard Training you get inside of your OneDrive one terabyte of storage, one TB. That is 1,024 GB, gigabytes. I am using in my OneDrive 449 GB. So I'm using quite a bit already. But on my computer, do you notice it says size on disk, 7.47? So of the 449 GB that I have in my OneDrive, I'm only... I only have 7.47 synced to my computer. So that is how that works. If you go click on a folder, because so I clicked on the main OneDrive icon, I'm going to go click on, I'm making this up, let's go take a look at uh, UGA videos and hit properties. So this folder itself inside of OneDrive is taking up 4.48. But on my computer, I'm only using 4KB, which means basically I'm not using anything, which is true. So you can always see the total size of your OneDrive here by going to Properties. You can also see the total size of a folder by going to Properties. Quick tip, if you want to see your storage space actually online, again, the blue cloud at the bottom, but instead of going to Open Folder, just go to Help and Settings. This is a great tip. It is Manage Storage. When you click it, your browser window will open. It'll ask you to sign in with your email account and password. And here I told you, you've got one terabyte of storage up in the top right. That is 1,024 GB. I've got 601 free. If I click on Documents, I'm going to spend a lot of time in this working folder. So I'm just showing you how you can view this right here. And again, this is not this is not the size that's on my computer. This is the size that's up in OneDrive. I'm going to minimize this. Let's go discuss what those icons, those three different icons mean for your files. Then I'll do another chapter on folders. Let's do the files first. I'm going to go to my working folder. Oh, one little tip. I wasn't going to cover this, but if you see the little person, Next to an icon, that means that is shared, just so you know that. No person here. 
And I know that this is shared because I'm sharing this with Christian who edits my videos. So I'm going to open up the inbox and here we go. These are all files right here. All those are files. They're the three different icons. I'm going to make this really simple. If you see the blue cloud icon, that file is stored in OneDrive in the cloud. It is not on your local computer, which means, just so you know this, if you don't have internet connection, your Wi-Fi is out or something, you can't download that file on that computer. The second icon that you see, it is for filter chart using table in Excel. It's got the green tick mark. That is what Microsoft calls it, a tick mark. I'm going to call it the green check mark to keep this easy. That means that file is on this computer and it's in the cloud. If I go and mouse over it, the actual availability status says available on this device. And it also tells me that it's shared again, by the way but available on this device. If you mouse over one of the cloud ones, available when online. So again, that proves my point. But here's where the confusion comes in. I see this a lot on the web. Someone says, okay, I've got one that's got the green check mark, but then I got a white check mark, which is the last one here. And that status is always available on this device. So always available on this device, the white check mark, Available on this device, the green check mark, what's the difference? For the most part, there's absolutely no difference. The difference would come in when you're running something inside of Windows 10 called Storage Sense. You can set up that application that if your hard drive is getting full, you can tell it, look in my OneDrive folder, anything that has the green check, if my hard drive starts getting full, send it back up to the cloud and make it cloud only to, to free up hard drive space. So hopefully that clears that up. You could also, by the way, I'm not covering in today's video, you could run storage sense and tell it if I haven't accessed a OneDrive file and I'm making these dates up in 30 days or 60 days, if I haven't accessed, take that file and put it back on the web only, whether your hard drive is full or not. But again, it would never, it'll never take the solid white check will never get sent back to the cloud unless you do it. A couple more points. Any file that's cloud related, so I'm connected to Wi-Fi right now. If I double click it to open it, it's going to go download it from the cloud. And I'm, as soon as it opens, I'm just going to close it because I'm not looking at this Excel file. My point is whenever you download a file from OneDrive, it changes its status and it'll now show you the tick mark or the green check mark. Again, I'm making this up. Let's say that this file that I just looked at, I'm like, okay, I want that all the time. Well, I've got it all the time now, but in case I'm running storage sense, right click. The word share down to free up space. If you notice, there is a horizontal line above share. There is a horizontal line below free up space. Those are all my OneDrive options. So if I wanted to put this back in the cloud, that would be free up space. But if I always want to keep it on this device, watch this. It'll change to the white check mark right now. So that application that runs would not touch that file. I'm making this one up. I don't need this file on my local machine at all. Well, I'm going to free up the space. Blue cloud. That easy. So I'm doing that right now for files. So hopefully you understand now what the three icons mean for files. It gets a little trickier with folders. So let's go ahead and jump into that chapter now. Back to my inbox. There are the folders, except for that last one's a file. Act like that one's not there right now. Here's the one that's tricky. I'm going to cover the easy ones first. If you see a folder, OD tests, and it's got the white check with the green, everything in that folder is always going to be always available on this device. If you have a folder that's got the green check and the white circle, everything in that folder is going to be 
available on this device. The tricky one is the blue cloud. If you see the blue cloud, and we were just there, look. It's got all three icons in it. Go up one level. Take a look at another one. This one, I bet everything's in the cloud. My point is this. If one file inside of a folder is the blue cloud available when online, that is the default icon for that folder. So you have to be careful when your hard drive starts filling up and you're like, oh, all these folders are only available, all the folders with the blue cloud are only available online. That is not always the case. So here's one thing I can do and I'm not gonna do it now. Yeah, I will. I've got just one small file in here. Act like I've got 40 files in this folder right here. I don't need anything on this folder on my computer. I would right click that folder, not file, free up space. It'll go to a blue cloud. There you go. So it's that easy to free up space in a folder. I could, if you recall, quick review, I'm back over here on OneDrive, Chris Menard Training. I go back to Properties. Do you see that 7.46 GB? If I'm like, you know what? There's nothing in my OneDrive that I even need on my computer. I'm not going to do this, but I could right click, free up space. All right, one more item I want to cover, and that is why in the world do I even see these three different icons at different times? Well, that is because if I go down here to my OneDrive and click, Again, help in settings, settings. You got these different tabs running across the top. If you go to the very first one, which for me is settings, that is called files on demand. That is Microsoft's terminology for why you're getting those three different icons. It is helping you save hard drive space. You keep the files and folders you don't need all the time up in the cloud, the stuff you're always working with. You can either do the solid green circle with the white check, or you can do just the green check mark. It's up to you which one you want. One more tip for you, and I forgot to say this. If you have a file locally and you put it in a OneDrive folder, the default icon, remember the three icons, is going to be the green check mark. So I know you can't see this, but I'm dragging and dropping a file. I'm going to drop it. It will not be the blue cloud. It is going to go to the green tick mark. Watch this. There you go, which means, again, that's locally stored and on the web. If I say, you know what? I don't need that here locally stored. Free up space. There you go. And again, I could have done that for the folder, too. Thank you for your time. Everyone have a wonderful day. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you have any comments or questions. OneDrive is wonderful. Thank you. Bye-bye.